Hey everybody, I'm Paul and James isn't with me, nor is Chompers this week, but we have John. Hey everybody. And we are camping at Cattail State Park in Arizona. It is a beautiful state park. It's located halfway between Lake Havasu and Parker Dam. And if you've been to any of those places, you probably think, oh my God, Party Central. But this place is right in the middle. And I gotta tell you, it's a completely different vibe. The drive up from Parker, it's a really nice drive uh, along the river, come down into the campground, and it's just a beautiful location for campground. Well, What's the park like is here? sort of divided into two sections. There's an upper part and there's a lower part. We both stayed in the upper part, which we really enjoyed. The lower part seemed to be a little younger in terms of the age, <laughs> a little more families. Yeah. Up here, it seemed to be a little more snowbirds. About eight o'clock, kind of the sidewalks rolled up and people went to bed, so it was really quiet. We were on the inner part. The outer part, the campsites all face with the east, so you're awning, so you get the afternoon in the shade. However, you are on that outer road, so there is that bit of noise from traffic, right? So yeah. you kind of have to think, you know, do you want the shade in the afternoon? And depending on what time of year you, you know, you're here. They are a little close together. That's one of the things I did notice. Overall, I think the sites are relatively level. I didn't have to put many blocks, blocks on. Down. Yeah, so I didn't have a good. problem leveling at all, really. And also, I would say the, the lamp post that... Um, oh, yeah. That, Don't book fit Space 47 because you'll have true. a nightlight that will shine down on you until about, what, 11 o'clock? Yeah, but yeah, it does go off. So yeah, it does go off. That's a good thing. It's not on all night. And most of these spots have trees, mm. except for that one doesn't have a tree, it's a lamp. So and that's another really good point. Yeah, um, yeah. A lot of these sites have mature trees. I yeah. have a really quite large uh, mature tree at my site, which provides beautiful afternoon shade. So no complaints, no complaints. We have 30 amp at everything, 30, right? Yeah, 30, 30 amp, amp at everything. everything. I think only two or three have actual full hookup. Yeah, the rest are just water and electric, so no yeah. sewer. So if you come, you got a plan on you know, using how the dump station. Yep, how you're using <laughs> your resource. And the dump station is actually really nice. There's two sides to it, so you can dump, you know, coming, coming in, coming or going, or going. So <laughs> you know, I don't know. if uh, We've been to a couple of James and I've been to a couple of Arizona state parks now. In fact, we were at one with you guys, yep. uh, Alamo Lake. Arizona state parks are really well maintained, and this this park is no exception. The highlight of this park, of course, is that it is on Lake Havasu and it has a great sandy beach for the entire campground to access. We went swimming, which was great. It does kind of get windy, at least it was windy here in, what month is it? In May. May. The sandy beach is great. There's hiking trails all over the place. Kayak so, rentals. Kayak rentals, yeah. yeah. There's even a fish cleaning station if for the fishermen that come here, a boat launch. A little cactus garden, you could learn all about the different types of cactus, uh, an amphitheater. Uh, as John mentioned, the vibe it seems to be a lot of snowbirds and the lower part of the campground seems to be a lot of boaters and families and things like that. Now, granted, we're here midweek, so I'm not quite sure what the vibe would be like on a weekend. I could only imagine when this place is packed and going, yeah. uh, it's a completely Absolutely. different experience. So I know when I booked, I didn't find any weekend spots. Friday night, Saturday night were all taken. Weekday was, I'd say, three quarters full. So kind of think about that when you're planning your trip. And what'd you think of that drive-in? <laughs> drive-in is, what, probably about a half mile maybe? Yeah. Maybe a little less, but it is windy. And when I mean windy, I mean like less than 10 miles an hour windy. It's, uh, <laughs> it'll get you. I you drive, drive slowly yeah, when you, when slowly. you enter. Absolutely. Well, one of the things, cool things about this park is that it's small. It's a small little mm -hmm. cove, but we just found out that they are expanding the park. They're taking over, I guess, the marina that used to be next door, Sandpoint Marina and they're getting close to opening that up, which probably will double, more than double the size of this. And the interesting looks like thing it. is, so yeah. we peeked over there, no trees, it's just concrete rocks, and that's it. Yeah. So, you know, if you do book and the, and the new section is open, sort of think about, um, you know, it's, there, it's really exposed to the wind in the lake, 
Uh, so that's something to consider. We're here. It's kind it's, of up on a mesa overlooking yeah, the lake. Bit, we're, we're in a yeah, cove. We're, we're a little bit in a. In I can a, imagine that's windy up there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I would, I would tend to think so. So you know, in the future, if you go on and you see a lot of sites available, just kind of call and say, hey, I'd, I'd really like the you know old, old portion of the uh, of, <laughs> of the, the park campground. rather than. I want to be in the, the cove, not on the yeah. mesa. So, John, what's your, what, if you had to rate this campground, because you know James and I always rate campgrounds, and James yes. never gives a 10. Uh, he does not, <laughs> and I will follow in that tradition. Okay, what are you um, going to give it? I'm going to give it an 8, and for two main reasons. Okay. One is the full hookups, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I, it, it, there's something to be said about rolling sure. in and doing, you know, being able to, you know, empty your black tank. Yeah. Uh, and two is just the proximity of the sites. Um, Again, not horrible, yeah. but I would like a little more space between me and my BFF. It's neighbor. kind of a cross between a commercial campground and a regular national park yeah, as far absolutely. as space. It's but not as small as a mm -hmm. commercial one, but not as big as a national park. Meticulously clean, which is absolutely. amazing for a state park. I mean, it is, I would just watch them, they were sweeping the dead leaves from under the hedge over here. So, I mean, attention to detail everywhere, which props and kudos to them. They work hard to keep this place. They really up do. And they really do. And you know what? I'm going to agree with your eight. I'm going to give it an Good. eight also. I think um, for most of almost the same point. First of all, the location is great. Uh, mm -hmm. For us, it's three hours from home, three hours from Palm Springs to be right on the water, which was really cool. Campground meticulously maintained. Um, water and electric at the sites, the sandy beach. I mean, come on, who doesn't want a sandy beach in the desert? That's great. Yeah, it's so. pretty wild to, to realize you're in a desert and just <laughs> exactly. be like in a body of water on a beach. It's it's, it's pretty cool. So if you want a, a what did you call it, a desert beach experience? <laughs> <laughs> Check out uh, Cattail Cove State Park. Now there's a couple different state parks up and down the river. Uh, this one, like I said, is in the middle. Uh, we don't know about the other ones, but this one, we can tell you the vibe is very laid back and definitely yeah, worth a visit. Absolutely. So if you're coming through this area, if you're coming through Arizona, check this one out. And as always, thank you for watching our videos. Please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and we will see you on the road. Travel safely. And John, thanks for inviting me to your, on the camping trip. I appreciate yeah. it. We'll see you back here next time, James. Miss you. Yeah. Bye, James. Bye, Chompers. Bye.